So, you've got your phone right there, probably in your pocket or on your desk. It's your connection to everything, friends, work, the entire internet. But what if I told you that same device could be a wide open door for someone else? Mobile hacking isn't just something you see in movies anymore, it's a real growing threat. Understanding how these attacks work is the first step to protecting yourself. Now, a quick but really important disclaimer. This video is purely for educational purposes. We're going to be looking at some powerful tools, but the goal here is to understand them, to learn how to defend against them, and to promote ethical hacking and security testing. Using these tools for any unauthorized or malicious activity is illegal, and we absolutely do not condone it. This is about pulling back the curtain on cybersecurity to make everyone smarter and safer. So, if you're into tech, cybersecurity, and learning how things work under the hood, you're in the right place. We're going to break down the top 10 mobile hacking tools you'll find in Kali Linux. And trust me, it's pretty fascinating stuff. If that sounds interesting, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you don't miss future deep dives like this one. All right, let's get into it. All right, kicking off our list at number 10, we have the Metasploit framework. It's a massive open source platform for developing, testing, and executing exploit code. Think of it as the Swiss army knife for penetration testers. It's incredibly versatile and has been a staple in the security community for years. Metasploit has a huge library of modules, many designed to target mobile operating systems, especially Android. These modules contain pre-packaged exploits for known vulnerabilities. A security researcher might use Metasploit to test if a company's devices are vulnerable to a specific flaw. They can select an exploit, configure a payload, and launch the test. The payload is where the power lies, like Metapreta, which creates a flexible command shell on the target system. From there, a tester can access the file system, dump contact lists, or even turn on the microphone. It's a powerful way to show a company the severity of a vulnerability. By understanding how Metasploit can be used to attack a mobile device, security professionals can build better defenses. They can run the same tests to find weaknesses before the bad guys do. It's all about proactive security. Using Metasploit ethically is about finding the holes and patching them up. Coming in at number 9 is AndroRat, which stands for Android Remote Access Tool. Its primary method is social engineering. The attacker creates a malicious APK file with the Ray T Trojan inside it. The goal is to get the target to install this malicious APK. Once installed, the AndroRat client connects back to the attacker's server, giving them a backdoor into the device. The attacker can view contacts, call logs, SMS messages, GPS location, and more. This highlights a fundamental security principle. Be careful about where you get your apps and what permissions you grant them. For ethical hackers, AndroRat is a tool for demonstrating the dangers of social engineering and improper app permissions. It's not about the code, it's about the human element. At number eight, we have Xanti. It's an Android application that turns your phone into a powerful network security assessment tool. Developed by Zimperium, it gives security managers a way to assess the risk level of a network with the push of a button. Once connected to a Wi-Fi network, Xanti maps out the entire network. It discovers all connected devices, their IP addresses, MAC addresses, and open ports. Xanti goes beyond mapping with a suite of tests against discovered devices. It can scan for vulnerabilities, check for weak passwords, and perform man-in-the-middle attacks in a controlled way. A network administrator could use Xanti to audit their corporate Wi-Fi. They could connect a test device, run scans, and see what a potential attacker would see. Xanti generates detailed reports, highlighting security gaps. It's a diagnostic tool, first and foremost. The power of Xanti is its accessibility. You just need a compatible Android phone. It's a reminder to never trust an unknown or public Wi-Fi network. Next up, at number seven, is DroidJack. DroidJack is a powerful rat that gives extensive control over a compromised Android device. Like AndroRat, it relies on a user installing a malicious APK. Once installed, a connection is established back to the attacker's command center. DroidJack allows for real-time monitoring, including viewing live screen activity and tracking GPS location. The controversy around DroidJack is its commercial availability, 
blurring lines between legitimate monitoring and spyware. It's a case study in the dangers of spyware and the importance of app vigilance. At number six, we have Evil Droid. It's a framework designed to streamline creating and embedding payloads into Android APKs. Evil Droid takes a Metasploit payload and injects it into a legitimate Android application. The final app functions as expected, making malicious activity harder to detect. For ethical hackers, Evil Droid is efficient for social engineering engagements. It underscores the importance of application whitelisting and robust mobile device management policies. Coming in at the halfway point, number five is Kali NetHunter. It's a mobile penetration testing platform based on Kali Linux. NetHunter transforms a supported Android device into a portable hacking machine. It runs a full Kali Linux distribution, complete with its massive arsenal of security tools. You can perform wireless attacks, run a bad USB attack, and more. The NetHunter app simplifies many complex tasks, making it accessible even if you're not a command line wizard. For security professionals, Kali NetHunter is the ultimate tool for on-site assessments. It's discreet, powerful, and incredibly versatile. At number four, we're shifting gears from offense to defense with MobSF, the mobile security framework. It's an automated tool for mobile application penetration testing, malware analysis, and security assessment. MobSF performs static and dynamic analysis to find security vulnerabilities. Static analysis examines source code, while dynamic analysis observes app behavior. MobSF generates a comprehensive report grading app security and listing vulnerabilities. For developers, MobSF is invaluable for securing apps. For security teams, it automates initial reconnaissance and analysis. It's a tool that makes the mobile ecosystem safer. Our number three pick is Wireshark, a legendary network protocol analyzer. It captures and interacts with traffic on a computer network. In mobile security, Wireshark captures data packets a mobile device sends and receives over Wi-Fi. Wireshark dissects each packet, displaying contents in a human-readable format. It shows source and destination IPs, protocols, and data payloads. For security auditors, Wireshark checks for security issues like unencrypted data. For developers, it's an essential debugging tool. For ethical hackers, it's a passive reconnaissance tool. It's the ultimate source of truth for network activity. At number two, we have Hackode, a penetration tester's toolkit it's designed for reconnaissance and information gathering. Hackode includes tools like Ping, Traceroute, and DNS Lookup. It features a Google hacking module for using Google Dorks. The app also includes Whois Lookups and an exploit searching tool. Hackode's strength is its convenience and simplicity. It allows quick assessments of network or web server security. It's a great entry point into mobile security tools. And finally, at number one, we have Shark for Root. It's a mobile version of Wireshark for rooted Android devices. Shark for Root captures and analyzes network traffic from the phone itself. It captures all network traffic, including cellular data. The app saves network data to a PCAP file for analysis. It's useful for mobile app security analysts. Shark for Root provides insight into app data transmission. It's a powerful diagnostic tool for developers and security researchers. It highlights the trade-off of routing a device, power versus security. So there you have it, a rundown of 10 powerful mobile hacking tools. Understanding how they work is crucial for building a strong defense. These tools are double-edged swords. They can be used for good or harm. This video is for educational purposes only. Always have explicit permission before testing any device or network. The world of cybersecurity is always evolving. Staying informed is your best defense. Be mindful of the apps you install and the networks you connect to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.